Hello, in this video you will learn how you can get a WhatsApp message every time someone fills out a tally form on your website or wherever you are. So you're going to learn this for Zapier and Make. So first thing is you choose as the trigger tally and the event is new submission. You will connect your account and then choose the trigger. Here's where you choose which form in your tally account you want to use as the form to get a notification. And then the next step is you're going to use the app called Whatsable. So you basically press here on the plus and if you search for Whatsapp, almost like Whatsapp, you will see Whatsable. The good thing about Whatsable compared to the Zapier Whatsapp integration is that you can send uh, to multiple phone numbers. So for example, I actually need to notify a few different people in my team when someone fill up, fills out a form and this allows me to do that very easily. So once we have WhatsApp, we're going to press as the event send message. We're going to press on continue. We're going to then press on choose account. You press on connect new account here. I already have my account connected. So, but you would get your uh, API key from the WhatsApp dashboard, which is here. You go to API keys, you copy that one and you would paste it. And then that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to just choose one of my accounts here. You press on continue. And then if your account has different phone numbers in it, so you can send uh, to different numbers, you would choose to which number you want to receive, uh, send the message to. And then you would also choose what information you want to include. So like new for this is the message content. So new form filled out for feedback. This is my feedback form. So then I can put the text of the feedback um, in here and the email of the respondent, which I think is here. And then I will receive a WhatsApp message with that. If it would have the option to like include an attachment, I could have the attachment be sent on WhatsApp as well. And that's pretty much it. Then you press on test and then on continue. And that would be, let me show you how it looks on WhatsApp. So on WhatsApp, this is how it looks. You receive then a WhatsApp, like you will have the bot, the WhatsApp bot sending you messages. If it has a PDF or any attachment, you would see it here. I think I also have some images that I receive sometimes here with a report. So you would get then a WhatsApp message. And then if you wanna have this be sent to different phone numbers, the only thing you need to do is you press on duplicate. And then what you do is you change the phone number that will be receiving that message. So in this one, it was one number. And then you go here into the action and you press on the other phone number in your account. That's pretty much it. I'll show you in the next, in the second part in this video coming up now, how you can actually connect WhatsApp Bell with Zapier and all those steps. All right. It's time to add our phone number or phone numbers for people in our team. And we will connect it to Zapier and make. So the first thing is you're going to press on this button here that says add phone number. Then you choose on this icon here with the world icon on the phone. We're going to choose our country. In my case, it's Spain. So here, and then we're going to put our phone number. Make sure that if you paste your phone number, all the digits are coming through and then you press on save. If you don't see the save button, it could be that the chat box is open. Just press an X and you will see the save button here. And then you're going to get a WhatsApp message. If you look here, I just got this WhatsApp message with a code. You can simply copy the code. This is the code here. And then you're going to paste it here in this white box and then we press on verify and it's going to be verified. If you want to add more phone numbers so other people in your team can also receive a phone number, you simply press an add phone number and you then choose, for example, the country of the person, put the phone number and you don't need to verify each other number. You only need to verify the first number. So it's easy to set up people in your team. All right. Remember for each phone number, you're going to get charged for that number. And now we're going to go and go to our API keys. This is what we use to connect with Zapier or make. So I'm going to copy this and now I'm going to go to Zapier. And when I choose a new module for here, I will then choose uh, WhatsApp bell here. And then you're going to choose as the event, send message, press on continue. And then here you're going to have to connect your account. You press on choose. I already have many, but you would probably get this dialog open for you. You simply paste your API key, press continue to WhatsApp. 
And then just wait a few seconds. This might take. Press and continue. And then you will see the two phone numbers of people of, that you added or any phone numbers that you add here. So this is the phone number that will receive the message in this case. And then you can press uh, paste any content that you want. If you want to send attachments on WhatsApp, you can do that here as well. So if you want to send to people in your team, you can simply duplicate this thing here. And then what you do is you change in the action, the phone number that's going to be receiving it. Instead of this number, it's going to be this number. And then you can have the message be sent to multiple people in your team. If you're using Integromat or Make, you can simply press on this WhatsApp message and then press on, oops, press on add. You can put here my WhatsApp, like whatever you want. So I'm going to put demo connection and then you paste your API key here and press on save. Then here you will see again the two, the two phone numbers that are part of your account. So you can send a message to them. If you want to add an attachment, you can simply paste that here. If you need help with that, you can always contact us through the chatbot. And that's how you add phone numbers and you connect it with Zapier or Make. If you have any questions, simply go to this chat box here on the green thing on the right and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.